Hi, welcome to Crossover, the Sun Channel. Today we're going to talk about husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. That's something critical that we've had to do as husband, as a role, to love our wives. And next week I'm going to talk about some wives, submit your husband. And that's going to be a next week uh, video. But today I'm going to talk about husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And, uh, and it's going to come down to the verse of the Bible, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 through 27. It's, it says, Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave himself up to her that he might sanctify her, having cleaned her by the washing of the water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself with glorious, without spot and wrinkle or such a thing that she might be holy and in and without fault. That's something that husband needs to follow in those example to be a good husband to their wives. But but it comes asking God for guidance, wisdom when it comes to their wives. Not not a lot of husbands know what to do, but that's where the Bible comes and teaches the husband how to take role, how to lead your wife and and disciple your wife and to love her and care for her. That's something we need to be doing every single day of our life. It's to love our wife because not only she's uh, our wife, but she's our partner. See, when when husband and wife come together, they're coming together with agreement. When you guys pray, it's powerful prayer. When when husband and wife come together and pray into God for whatever they're praying for, that God's going to listen and answer the prayer. But when husband disrespect their wives, it's actually disrespecting God then their prayers can be hindered. That's, that comes for husband and a wife. Either way, if you guys have arguments or upsetness or not following God's standards as a husband role, then it's eventually God's going to hinder those prayers. And then you allow the enemy comes between your marriage. And that's something that I'm here to, take, to say that, that marriage is a wonderful thing. It's, it's a blessing. But when you have a spouse that loves the Lord as, as, as you do, you can move mountains. Because prayer, it comes a powerful thing by the Holy Spirit. When you come with your spouse walking side by side and, and conquer God's word, do the peoples and do your day. Because that's something that helps me need to look forward. It's to spend time with your wife, not only talking to her, but disciple your, your wife and your family. We need to be uh, husband role leaders, provider, okay? There's so many husbands right now that want to stay home and let their wife work. And God didn't intend that happen. Medical issue, that's understandable. But when a guy is able to work, he needs to go out there and provide his family that God attended. That's what the Bible says. Because there's so many laziness of men that don't want to work and provide their family. And then wife don't have no respect for their, their husband. Because why? Because they're not taking the leaders that God intended a man to be. So we need to change that point of view and put everything aspect of their husbands to love God. And that's why um, the next video I'm going to talk about wives to pray for your husband. Because your wives need to pray their husbands to guide them and direct it that God could lead them. See, that's something we we husband, uh, we got to put our two feet, um, our two feet down and go all our ways is to love our wife as Christ loved the church. And that's what we need to be doing every single day. And and also um, in 1 Peter 3, 7, it, it talks about be good husband to your wife, honor them, delight them as as that the women that lack some of their advantage. But in the new life of God's grace, you're equal. See, we're the same. Yeah, we're the leader, but you're walking side by side with your wife. And, and that's what God attend is to come together as agreement in prayer and everything. Because there's a lot of husbands who want to do things without talk, discussing their, their wives about it. And that's when destruction happened. That's when enemies step forward and say, you don't have to listen to your wife. Just do it because you make the money, you work. See, that's something that we got to be careful. We don't listen to the enemy. We need to swallow our pride, 
humble yourself unto God and, and to love your wife that God intends as husband to love their wives. It's not that hard to open up your wife. It's not that hard to uh, disciple and have a devotion together with your wife. That's something that is so critical for husband to do. Okay? It might, in the end, starting, it might be a little rough, but it gets much easier because when you guys come together as husband and wife, the love and the spirit in you start coming up. Then you start expressing the love and you're tender, caring to your to your spouse. And that's something so gracious and so good to have that you, you could talk to your wife, anything, and she will not going to judge you, condemn you, because you're supposed to build each other's up, not to tear somebody. And that's so many guys, uh, husbands are tearing their wife down. Because when you tear your wife, you're tearing yourself down. Regardless. It. Okay? We're not here to prove our spouse did this wrong here and there. No, you could discuss about it. But that's something you have to come in agreement and sit down and, and talk about this. And that's something I want you to understand. That... We have a lot of responsibility being a husband, but God intend us to do this His way, not our way. And every single time we try to do it our way, it falls down. I mean, like myself, I've been married, and it's a blessing to have a wife that loves the Lord. And and I could talk to her with about God, and that's something is so awesome to have. That you can read the Bible together and, and be yourself to your wife. And, and talk about anything. That's what a marriage is supposed to be doing. The, there's a lot of marriages don't do that. Because they don't spend time with God. And I always pray God. Uh, Lord help me to love my wife. Show me when I need to love my wife. And I go to the scripture what the Bible says. And I ask for God for wisdom. I ask for uh, guidance. And But the main thing I ask the Holy Spirit. Not to tell her. My wife to love her but to show her to love her i i try to treat her the way she got god attended me to treat her because not only she's your wife but she's god's daughter and and god released her to you to take care of her and to mold her and shape her as 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 god intended us to do it with our women it's to love them every single way that's what we need to be doing single day peoples is take a role serious and to love our wife that God intended us to love it's not that hard if you ask God help it's hard when you try to do it yourself because you don't know the answers okay but do it humbly to God and he will change your heart he will direct your life and he will show how to love your wife and that and as well God will just touch your wife's heart and then your wife will start listening to you and give her a reason to follow you. If you're doing something for Christ, she's going to follow you. She will never back down because you're doing what God intended you to do in life. And she will follow you. She'll be by your side. Okay? And that's something that, that I want you to understand that in church, there's counseling out there. You have to call the church, your local church, and tell them what's happening in your marriage. That you need some counseling. And they're there to help you. They're, here to, they're there to guide you. And, they, and not only their opinion, they go by the Bible says, what the scripture said about marriage. And these pastors will help you out and take some classes and, and, and try to build your marriage back again. And that's something we understand that that's going to help to build a marriage. Okay? By going to this church, local church, and ask for help. There's nothing wrong in asking for help. Okay, there's, that's the reason why the church have marriage, uh, marriage counseling. That's why they have it there. So we need to take that advantage. If you're having marriage problems, go to your church and talk to them. They understand. They've been there. Not most of the pastors uh, understand your the situation. They hear a lot of couples are going through any, and they go every single time to get help. Okay, and that's what we need to be doing. In my church, we have marriage conference. Every year. And it, made, it touched a lot of marriage couples. Didn't know. Men didn't even know there was a role. Or leadership. Okay. They only know to be macho. Or or be a, a, aggressive. Or anger. Or be tough or something. That's not a, a, a husband is supposed to treat their wives. Okay. 
You're supposed to uh, protect your family that God attended and sacrifice your life for your family. That's what God attended. But God didn't intend you to tear your family apart, to tear your marriage apart. And a lot of, a lot of husbands are doing that. But you know what? A lot of husbands don't have the guidance. They don't have the, the tools or haven't been discipled. But there is churches there that would tell you how to be a successful husband. But based on what the Bible says, not based on their opinion, it's what the Bible says. But I encourage you, like um, marriage couples, beginners, you want to know about marriage? You should talk to um, people's successful marriage in church. They've been married for 20 years, uh, 18 years, 30 years. They have the example. And sometimes you try to seek their advice. And then we'll let you know it's, it's God that changed my wife's heart. It's God that changed my husband's heart. See, it all comes down to God. God is the way He's going to change people's heart. He's going to make it everything possible. And I want you to really understand this. Okay? Husband, give your wife a reason to follow you by having Christ your life and be an example that Christ like in your life. And then your wife will follow you and, and agree with every single time. Then, you know, the more important your kids will see how the, you love your wife, their mother, and they want to be live that example. When they get into marriage, they will see how their parents are. So what it took to be a successful marriage. Now I always tell my kids that, that God is the center in the marriage. Okay, never leave God out of your marriage. Always have God in your marriage and ask God to, to protect your marriage. Okay, and that's what we need to as husband to come together. Okay, in prayer. And I encourage you, husband. Okay, it's do wherever you can love your wife, care for her, pray for her. That's the main important thing to do. And, that, and God will honor that and God will bless you. And that's the same thing that, that in life, the blessing that God's going to give us this, this marriage. Because God's not going to um, bless a, a awful marriage. See, if you're mistreating your wife, there's not going to be no blessing. And you want to know why you're hit rock bottom. Because how you treat your, your wife. You want to get blessing? Then do what God has telling you to do in the Bible. To love your wife as Christ loved the church. See, Christ, Christ died for, for us. Because we were the church. He died for that reason. So we could be set free. And to live by the example. And that's something we need to go diligent every single day. It's to stay in the Word. Every single day of our life. And help the Holy Spirit to guide up and direct us to show the love that God has for us is by reaching peoples and, and telling peoples that God is the answer for everything. Marriage or, you, or you're getting in a um, cor uh, courting in relationship, dating. Take those courses in church about getting into marriage because there are a lot of aspects of it. Uh, just because you say I do, there's a lot of... Uh, details you have to work on the marriage, okay? It, it, it's, it's a task to, to continue doing every single day is to read the Bible together as husband and wife, have a devotion together, okay? Respect your wife, respect your family. That's something so critical. When God sees you doing every effort of that, it means that you honor God in, in your marriage. And that's something I want you to take consideration Husbands, okay? It's not about toughness. It's not about, oh, I'm the man of the house. It's none of that. It's by being a loving husband, okay? Be the example that Christ has you to do in, in, in your heart, to love your family and to take care of them, but to protect them and serve them, see? That's what a husband is supposed to do, okay? And, and, and a lot of husbands are quitting, they don't want to take the responsibility. A lot of husbands just leave the family to start on their own life. And that's not in God's plan of view. That's cowardice in, in God's eyes. Okay? You know what? It's always going to be tough. But you could get through this if you just put your life together with God. And He will help you get through this marriage. Or with an issue or pray for your, your spouse. He will make that heart open up. But you got to be diligent in the Word. You got to pray. You got to get on your knees. Every single time, every single day, praying, consistent, 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 and God will hear you, okay? 
but you gotta go into fasting. You gotta ask for the Holy Spirit to direct you, and He will direct you. Okay. When Jesus came in, in, in on on the world, He said, "I have to leave because the Helper is going is going to come," and that's the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is there to guide us, convict us, and even speak to us by the Word of God when you open your Bible. And that's something that I want you to understand. That I got the last verse I want to read that uh, is that um, is it's going to be Colossians three nineteen. When God says, husband, love your wife, he's speaking the woman as a complex being. He called every man to love his wife, his wife as, as the man loved his own life. See, when you love yourself, you're loving your wife. When you hate yourself, you don't have no love for your wife or anyone around you. So you got to ask God to change your heart. Okay? Now, God, help me to love you, God, first, so I can love my family. And God will hear you. You can't put your, mom, your family first. You got to always put God first. And God sees that you, you putting God Him first, then He start working your marriage. Okay? Because it, you're the, 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 the root of the problem. But by confessing to God, He hears you. And He start working your heart. That's where you're at. Okay? So I encourage you to uh, this video. It would touch your hearts, husbands out there. And I just ask you, if you don't know Christ, your heart, I ask you to give your life to Christ. Okay? He's there to help you. He's there to, to lift you up. He's there to save you. So when the time comes that when you have to go um, depart from this world, you're in the presence with Jesus Christ. When Jesus came to the world, he died for your sins. So he could uh, uh, conquer the world and then so for us to live in heaven with God. That's the reason why God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for the, the world. So we could have redeemed and to live for Christ forever, forever. That's something that, that I look for as well many of you are looking for. Okay, this world living here is temporary. This is not our true home, but our true home is in heaven. With to be with our loving Father. Embrace us and love us and care for us. There will be no more sorrow, no more pain. There will be no anguish. You live in a perfect life, perfect body. And I ask you, do that for the Lord. Because He did that for you. By, by, dying the sin, by dying the cross for your sins and our sins. Okay? And I thank you for watching this video. And I want you to understand this. Believe in God because He's believing you.